Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, I uh, am uh, sitting in the dark. Like apparently many people do when they record webcam videos. Uh, I don't get it. I don't understand why people uh, don't turn on a light or expect that the glow of a computer screen is going to be enough. Uh, it never is. And, and besides that, you, you can't even, you really can't even see me. You see a lot of glowing lights in my room, uh, I, but that's it. And even if I was sitting close, I'd look like a Smurf because I'd be blue. Worse yet, you know, I, I well, not, I, I guess I'm kind of purple. Well, at least the light up there is, is glowing purple. Uh, I've got a top five list here on how to set up the webcam. And, and we're not talking about just, you know, plugging it in. I mean, plugging it in is, is relatively simple. You know what I'm saying? And it's USB. That's, that's nothing. You know, you, you plug it in. I'm talking about composing everything, okay? Uh, what makes a good video? Now, there's a few things you can keep in mind. Number one, location. Make sure you set up your webcam on a horizontal surface like a bookshelf. Uh, set up so that it points straight at your face or at the location or desk you're at. If you're having it outside, you have to keep it in a dry spot to perfect, and, and you know you want to prevent direct sunlight. Uh, and these, by the way, these tips, as I'm rolling into them, I forgot to mention, uh, submitted by Flyax, and they're free. All these tips are free. Um, so you don't need to spend money on a better webcam. In many cases, you can get the ch world's cheapest webcam and still make a better video than someone who's got the world's most expensive camera and doesn't know how to use it or doesn't know how to compose a shot. Number two, lighting. For most webcams, you'll need a lot of light. Now, he notes that just because he doesn't know the kind of webcam you're using, you're going to have to experiment a little for yourself, but don't use too little or too much light. If you have too little light in the room, the video quality will decrease and make you look dark red or dark yellow or something like that. But remember not to use too much light because then you'll be all discolored. Is that even a word, he notes? And it is. And you will be all light yellow and glowing. It just, it's, you got to get a good cam as much, you know, as you can afford to get. And then, uh, conversely, have the right light balance for the room. Number three, distance. Keep a good enough distance from your face, desk, or whatever so the viewer can get a good view. If you're too close, you'll lose light and the quality of the video stream, potentially. If you're too far away, the viewer will see your unclean room, and that's not good, is it? And that's the thing. Uh, if I'm going to uh, point anything out in this video, it's just begging you to stop recording webcam video uh, in your bedroom if you have not made the bed. Uh, or if you've got clothes laying all over the place, uh, close the closet door, uh, remove as much clutter as you possibly can from the background and or foreground, uh, it's very distracting, okay? Now, I realize I'm saying this and you're saying, well, Chris, you've got these glowing lights. Those are distracting. Yeah, but that's a different kind of distracting, okay? Now, speaking of uh, distance, I'm going to zoom it in just a bit. I've got a, a DV cam that I'm using as the webcam. It's connected by FireWire and I'm able to control it with a remote control for the win. Number four, treatment. Don't put your webcam on a dirty spot or bookshelf with a lot of dust. Keep it dry, prevent much heat and direct sunlight, uh, which can affect the lens. Uh, he's also noted that old televisions can affect the webcam. Don't know if that's true. Well, it could be if it's giving off any kind of uh, magnetic field that could cause some issues. Uh, you know, and you'll watch the videos that I've done, and I've done you know over a thousand specifically you know, for YouTube, and the like, uh, and the quality of production has you know, changed over time. There have been times that it's been better, sometimes that it's been worse for a lot of reasons. We record the videos live, uh, so we're playing with a di different set of, of parameters uh, than most people might. Um, you know, I'm, I'm reliant on a live service from Ustream.tv to incorporate a lot of the things that I need to incorporate, like a live audience. Um, you know, I've changed the angle of my video. Some of the earlier ones, you'll you'll notice me looking up higher because I had the camera up a couple shelves. Now it's pretty much straight across for me. Um, you know, it, it just constantly experiment, constantly try new things, get to get to perfection. But you know, if you don't take care of your camera, it doesn't matter what you do. Number five, software. If your camera doesn't come with good software, suggest getting one. Webcam software can be a good help and can also be a lot of fun. Uh, he notes programs like Webcam Max for Windows, Cam Twist for the Mac, great programs. Uh, they can add effects to your video. 
and I, I've shown off uh, some of the cam twist effects. That is how I, and just to, to briefly run through this again, uh, cam twist is a free program for Mac OS X only. Uh, it's amazing, and Webcam Max costs $30, and it's nowhere, like, Cam Twist is, like, 2,000% better than Webcam Max, and it's also free. So, yeah, I guess, you know, you can try Webcam Max, but the effects are kind of junky, and they don't give you, you know, I think, as many options. Like, I've got an RSS feed that's incorporated in the video. Uh, I've got, you know, my partner sponsor logos. I've got my, you know, text. I've got a live chat feed that's being pulled from a screen capture on my screen. Uh, I, and then, of course, I can go through and, and do other things inside the video, like spin everything in a cube if I wanted to. And I can even move that effect, let's say, up or down. So if I wanted to keep the chat and everything in place, watch me crash, uh, I could and then just spin myself. Uh, I could turn off the cube uh, if I wanted to. I could set myself in the whole chat room on fire. Uh, it's kind of a fun little effect. These are things you can do. I, I wouldn't necessarily keep them turned on, you know, all the time. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, how I'm able to, uh, you know, make a, a webcam production a little more than just an average webcam production. As long as these elements are applied, in my opinion, tastefully, they'll fit in quite well. And everything you see with my live video production is made possible because of fantastic free software, unfortunately only available for Mac OS X. So there you go. There are some uh, tips that are going to help you really improve the quality of the videos that you're doing with a webcam. If anything, just keep the clutter out of the picture, okay? Um, if you're going to shoot it in your bedroom, just keep it clean. Keep it organized, okay? You, you don't even want to see on my floor right now. I've got, I've got stuff on the floor. You don't believe me? No, I'm serious. i got stuff, like, down here. Just, just to prove my point, okay? I'm in the middle of uh, doing laundry here. But did you see this? Did you see the towels and the sock? Did you see this? You didn't see any of this stuff on the floor, did you? No. and you're a better person for it. My email address is chris at perillo.com in case you have any other tips that we might not have shared to this point. Uh, you know, tips related to video stuff, tech. Maybe you have tips that have nothing to do with technology at all. I'd love to hear them. Uh, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room, which is, uh, we're typically talking tech, uh, and we give away a webcam every week. We also, we, we've been giving away a lot more uh, things on, on, a, on a weekly basis, so you, you just never know when it's going to happen or why or how it's going to happen. Uh, but the only way to find out is to join the conversation, join the uh, community, if you will, and stop by and say hi, uh, so long as you're a good person. Um, we'd love to have you there. In fact, we're waiting for you right now, so what are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.